Muslims. And I do not think it is healthy for the average Muslim who is struggling just to be a Muslim, to be fed anti-Sufi, anti-Shi'i, anti-this rhetoric. I want to ask you about Saudi Arabia because um, you were trained there, you did your theological training there. Um, when I went on Hajj a few years ago, I went to the Maktaba, the bookshop opposite the Haram. Uh, I saw blatantly anti-Shia and anti-Sufi literature in English on sale while millions of Hujaj who are Shia and Sufi were doing Hajj. Um, my research indicates that the, the vast majority of sectarianism promoted around the world is promoted by the Saudi authorities. Your comments on that? I, I wouldn't feel qualified to comment on the second bit of the vast majority. I mean, that's something that I think requires a little bit more research. But no doubt, uh, the, the theology that is taught in that region is uh, inherently anti-everything. I mean, it's not just Shia or Sufi. Any, I mean, you're probably not familiar with this, but even intra-Sunni disputes, right? Uh, in fact, Sufism is a strand of Sunni Islam. But there are other you know, theolo the theologies within Sunnism uh, that that theology is very much opposed. And I do not think it is healthy for the average Muslim who is struggling just to be a Muslim, to be fed anti-Sufi, anti-Shi'i, anti-this rhetoric. You need to build this person's Iman before you start destroying other people uh, uh, from, from his perspective. <laughs>